Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Moses who has just been placed at Genpack with package of 4.25 LPA. Welcome Moses, uh, we congratulate you. Thank you sir. Uh, yes, yeah, so Moses, first of all, how are you feeling like getting uh, placed into such a big MNC and starting your career? Like I'm feeling very much excited sir. Actually, I have been waiting since long for this uh, opportunity. So I'm feeling very excited to join this. Okay, nice, nice. So Moses is with us today to tell us uh, his hiring experience with Genpact. Uh, Moses, we would like to know, uh, you can share each and every information uh, so that uh, the audience could get an insight like how the process is going on with Genpact, okay, which will help your uh, juniors or the students, those who are still preparing for the same company. Okay, so yes, let yes. us start with your uh, general introduction first so, so that our audience know like about yourself. So kindly introduce yes. yourself. Thank you, sir. Uh, firstly, my name is Moses Madhubila. I'm from Varangal. I'm studying final year in BTEC uh, in the stream of data science in the Vagdevi Engineering College, Varangal. I'm the student of talent battle. I have actually recently placed in Genpack with 4.25 LPA and my role is senior associate. Okay, okay. That's great. Uh, uh, nice to hear about you, Moses. So, uh, uh, like... Uh, uh, we will not delay much okay so uh, we will start with the pack, like first of all with the rounds of genpact okay so can you just please okay. uh, tell us like how many rounds were there in genpact three rounds sir okay and uh, can you please name those rounds as well yes yeah, sir first round is online assessment sir and second round is technical interview and third round is hr interview sir okay okay so let's start with the round 1 uh, as you mentioned, it was the online assessment. So what kind of online assessment it was and what were the sections included in that? Yes, sir. Uh, coming to the online assessment, uh, it is basically from arithmetic and logic and reasoning. No more coding questions. Actually, there are 25 questions involved, involved in it and the time given was 75 minutes, sir. Okay. Like all, all questions uh, was from like uh, arithmetic only, like aptitude only. There were three sections, sir. One is arithmetic, second one is logic, and the third one is pseudocodes, sir. Okay, okay. And we have uh, to solve that pseudocodes. In total, there were 25 questions. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, can you just uh, break on these sections as well? Uh, like, what what were the type of questions that was asked in the first uh, subsection? And uh, please yes, continue. In, yes, sir. In first section, actually... Uh, coming to the aptitude section, we have got a questions like uh, decoding the characters and uh, uh, actually go uh, coming to the numbers section, we have got uh, uh, logical numbers and uh, uh, like that. And uh, coming to the pseudocode section, uh, they were given uh, some pseudocodes and we have to solve that pseudocodes and we have to guess the output. They will give some options and we have to guess that output. And in some pseudocode questions, they will give some errors. We have to rectify those errors and we have to select the uh, uh, options among them. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you mentioned like there were three subsections, right? Uh, first one was like uh, arithmetic, second one was logical. So any any specific topics you remember from those first two sections like that was mostly asked? Yes, sir. First coming to the arithmetic, uh, they were asking, uh, they are asked uh, some basic questions like uh, they were giving some passages and uh, they were asking some questions based on that passage. And uh, coming to the logic section, uh, they gave some characters and we have to decode them. And they gave some number sections like uh, we have to then decode that numbers and guess the word like that. Okay, okay. And were you able to answer all the questions? Yes, sir. Actually, I have prepared very well for that, sir, using this talent battle uh, website. And uh, in that website, I have uh, went for like uh, preparation of off-campus placements. Like uh, there will be some sections, aptitude and logical and coding. I have prepared very much using your website, sir. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Uh, like, uh, we are thankful. Like, uh, it helped you uh, a lot, right? Yes. So, uh, any, any, any questions that you felt like was tricky enough or was time consuming? Because there were only twenty five questions and seventy five minutes. So, like, uh, how did you manage your time? Which section took the maximum time? Yes, sir. Coming to the uh, pseudo code questions, first, uh, firstly, arithmetic questions and logical questions. I have uh, I have attempted uh, for for one question. It took only one minute. 
but coming to the pseudo code questions i i can't uh, solve that questions it took uh, it took so much time for solving that questions i feel some like uh, uh, whether it is correct or not but i i attempted them but it took long uh, long much time okay okay any any topic of uh, like uh, questions asked in the pseudo code like any any loops anything you remember yes sir exactly uh, they have given some for loops and in that for loops uh they they will give some statements or they will give some conditions uh, and they asked that whether it this condition gives the correct output or not so we have to recheck that code and we have to see that whether it is giving that uh, correct output or not they will give some options also okay okay and all the questions were mcq type yes sir yes. all the questions are mcq types okay okay nice uh okay and uh, last question for this section is like uh, were uh, were the question switching like possible like uh, can you like switch between the questions no sir actually uh, coming to the section wise we after uh, completing one section we can't go to the another section sir like after completing only we can go to the another se another section okay 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 so any suggestions you want to give any advice like which helped you to crack this test yes sir actually uh, students will solve this uh, aptitude and logical questions very much easily but uh, coming to the pseudo code questions we have to think twicely because uh, the outputs will be uh, that trick the trick will be the little much uh, little trick but we have to solve it uh, very logically so Uh, prepare uh, well on that pseudo code questions and solving that pseudo code trickies. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's good. Okay. So, how many uh like uh, uh how many uh after how many days you can say uh like you achieved your uh second round invitation link? Yes, sir. Uh, coming to the online assessment after completing of my online assessment. they have declared the result after 15 days sir our placement officer uh, posted in that groups okay 15 days it took for the results yes sir okay and how many students cleared actually this first round the any rough idea round, uh, yes sir yes sir uh, approximately 370 members are selected sir. okay okay so starting with the second round uh, so what was it uh, second round was technical interview sir okay so please go through that as well yes sir uh, in technical interview round uh, firstly interviewer asked that uh, give me self introduction of mine and after coming to the uh, coding questions he, he was asked me like uh, which language you will prefer and he asked me more questions on my preferable language and then uh, actually i am the stream of data science so he asked uh, a lot of questions uh, in the stream of data science like how many projects you have done in the data science and what are the drawbacks you have got in your project and uh, like coming to the data science he also asked me like uh, what are the differences between data science and uh, machine learning what are the technologies you are mostly used in your project uh, for the data science projects like uh, this one. okay and for how many duration it was uh coming to my interview technical interview sir uh, it took around 40 minutes sir 40 minutes okay and as you mentioned like uh, there were most questions from your stream so uh, like any specific topics you remember which they picked from data science yes sir yes sir coming to the data science uh, he was asked me like uh, what are the data science uh, technologies you have used in project and also coming to the normally coding questions he was asked me like data structure code questions like uh, bubble sort or quick sort like sorting algorithms he he used to ask me like uh, write the code of bubble sort algorithm and he asked me to write that code also okay so you presented your screen and then uh, write or it was a physical interview like a uh, one on one table interview okay physical interview okay okay so you need to write it on a piece of paper right yes sir okay okay so what about your projects you also mentioned like there were questions related to your project so what kind of projects you have made in during your learning period actually in my resume i have updated only a one project sir uh, it mainly focus on pharma suggestion box and the technologies i have used in uh, are uh, data science uh, data analysis technique where, where i have used like uh, pandas numpy uh, libraries so he asked me like uh, what is pandas used for like what is numpy used for and the uh, what are the technologies mostly you have used in your project 
and what are the drawbacks you have faced while using these technologies like this okay okay and any out of the box question that the interviewer asked you and you felt it it was the like most trickier one to answer uh sr actually uh, coming to the in technical interview at last uh, the interviewer asked me like uh, what is your favorite uh, favorite place in your uh, residence like uh, in my uh, my residence is warangal so he asked me like what is your favorite place in your warangal so i felt like uh, what should i answer to that question hmm. so i felt uh, if i answer uh, my favorite place uh, what what will be the interviewer feeling like i have got okay okay so like this question was asked in the technical interview only yes technical interview and uh, in the hr interview also he asked me mostly on this but in technical interview he asked only single question like oh, which is your favorite place okay 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 so uh, like most of the interviewers uh, like uh, i have taken many uh, in, like uh, this experience calls with other students as well and most of the interviewers uh, as per the trend uh, when they end the interview they usually ask like any questions for ourselves uh, for uh, for the company or for the interviewer so did you ask any question to him yes sir yes sir he also asked me like any questions for me and then i, I have asked that uh, how was my performance okay so he he told that you have to improve some uh, some communication skills uh, based on my introduction like okay you I generally ask your feedback right yes sir yes okay 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 then so after how many days you uh, received uh, that you have cleared the technical interview uh, around uh, around one week sir after one week uh, they have, they have kept the details of uh, cleared uh, students for the hr interview okay so after that moving on to third round so yes sir like as you mentioned like it was an hr interview right so yes sir uh, like uh, what kind of questions were asked in this hr interview yes sir coming to hr interview he first asked me like self introduction and after that uh, something new other than resume like he said that uh, don't tell the things that are in resume give me the things which which are not described in the resume sir and then coming to cities and he asked me which which city most you like in our in our state so i i have told like uh, hyderabad is the most favorite favorite city of mine and uh, coming to the logic questions he asked me like uh, other than family who inspired you a lot uh, like that sir and then he asked me like if you got placed in gen fact uh, if your friend is uh, sitting like an idol what will you do to motivate him and then after that he asked me like uh, any questions to me and also favorite subject uh, why is that why is your favorite subject is that and like that okay okay like genuine uh, hr questions were there like there were no any technical more more technical questions asked again yes sir no technical questions only genuine questions okay so like uh, how much duration it took to like for and uh, for the whole interview it took uh, it took like 10 to 15 minutes sir okay uh, okay it was a short interview yes sir okay and uh, when was the results announced after two days only the results were announced sir okay okay that that made you happy yes sir yes sir <laughs> actually okay. i was waiting uh, a long for that result but our placement officer uh, kept the result in after two days only okay okay and how many students got selected from your college from our college 45 students got selected sir okay uh, that's a good number uh yes all right so moses uh, this was your uh, final interview like uh, there were no further rounds results was declared after third round only yes sir this is the final round okay okay so uh, like uh, how about you will say uh, about the uh, written test and uh, to summarize uh, each and everything okay like what were the pain points that you felt uh, in the interview or uh, or either in the written test that you felt and that you want to share your experience with us so that other yes, students can prepare accordingly yes sir hmm. coming to the first round online assessment uh, we have to mainly focus on pseudo code uh, solving and also some uh, for loops we have to co concentrate on coding questions also then coming to the interview uh, what we are keeping in our resume we have to mainly focus on them because they are asking the skills based on our resume only what the skills are we are mentioning they are asking mostly on that skills only so basically we have to keep the skills only what about what we are perfect 
we we don't uh, include like a uh, uh, lot of uh, skills like in resume uh, based on the job descriptions but we have to keep the skills only which we are perfect so that we can answer uh, we can answer to that questions asked by the interviewer so these are these are this my summaries okay okay and any specific uh, uh, like su suggestion or any learning strategy that you you took and that helped you to crack this uh, company yes sir actually uh, firstly coming to the placement uh, placement officer uh, our placement officer uh, kept the campus recruitment training training also but uh, coming to the off campus placements i have prepared like in talent battle website there will be some platforms like how to prepare for off campus placements and how to focus mainly on coding questions like we have to use this uh, website uh, for our preparation for the interview round also for uh, for the online assessment round also okay okay that's great and uh, once again uh, moses congratulations from the whole team of talent battle on getting placed in genpact and we are very okay. happy to hear about your success journey today and to audience as well if you want to get placed uh, same like moses and even achieve the higher packages so you can and if if you have not started your placement journey or if you are preparing and facing some errors so this is the time to pick up your phone and connect talent battle mentors is it is very simple to connect with us you just have to go through our website or connect through uh, through any of our uh, social media applications our mentor will connect with you and this is a free one on one mentorship so you can just discuss about your queries with us uh, free of cost and uh, we are there to help you out and uh, once again moses best of luck for your future and uh, Thank, thanks thanks for sir. coming and thanks for sparing your time for sharing your success journey with us today thank you sir thank you so much